Hey, hi, I'm Margaret Gomez, and this is Theater Thursday. I help solo theater performers bring their work online according to whatever price point you are at. It turns out that I have a show that is booked into a theater for an in-person live engagement of six weeks. Uh, it's called The Spanky Machine. It's going to be at the Marsh in San Francisco. And what I want to tell you is that I need to memorize. I wrote this, and uh, I, just, I just printed it all out. Ooh, that's uh, 20 pages of goodness right there. So the question I get when I do one of my solo shows from uh, the wonderful people who come to see them is, how do you memorize all that? <laughs> Which, you know, I guess, okay, did you like how I performed it? But how'd you memorize that? People are, they're sometimes cowed by the idea that they have to memorize it and recite it back. It does take time. It takes hours. You have to really discipline yourself. It's like, it's like practicing an instrument, right? So I'm going to tell you a few of the ways that I use to memorize, let's say, 20 pages of a show that I wrote. Doesn't matter. You could have written the show. Memorizing it is still the same to me. I have to tell myself I wrote this. And then I have to spend time with it, just time with it, just reading it, making notes, and understanding why one line follows the other and why what happens on the next page happens and then how that affects something that happens five pages from that. I've got to just look under the hood of this piece. Whether I wrote it or not, I am the writer now. I own this now, okay? Once you put enough time into that and you get that, then you drill. And drilling is not fun. There is no fun way to, it's never enjoyable to drill, but once you have done that work and you go on stage and it's effortless and you don't have a, you know the white knuckles and the and the night terrors about forgetting all your lines on stage and not being ready you are ready you have to be ready and you have to drill this is how i drill i i, I take it from the top and then i go a little at a time and then i go back to the top i take two sentences and I, I learned them until it, I can say them pretty fast. And then I do two more sentences. And I go till I've got a paragraph. And I repeat and repeat and repeat onto the next paragraph. Learn that. Once I've got that one, then I go back to the top and I repeat both. And I do that with all 20 pages. Of course, by the, by the, the end of drilling, or there is no end to drilling, because you have to do it even after after opening night. You still have to refresh everything so that you're, you give the best performance possible. So I had a little technical uh, difficulty there. I hope that, uh, I hope I didn't say anything weird. <laughs> All right, so um, we've gone through two ways that I use. One is to just study it, and then with script in hand, with a big glass of water or a pot of coffee, just drill it and keep yourself going and sit down to it and do it first thing in the do it first thing in the day when you wake up. Don't do anything else. Don't go on social media. Spend at least two hours at the top of your day drilling the script. And after you're drilling for a while, you know, it's just words. It's just like, uh, you know, contortions your tongue is making and your 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 vocal box is, is pushing forward. Sure, that's okay. But subliminally, it's all going in there and you're getting even more meaning. And it's just a beautiful thing when you know it and you don't have to worry. Why should you worry? On to uh, step three. Get an app. 
This is the app that I use. Uh, can, you, can you see what that looks like a little bit? It's got a little uh, button and you press record and then you do all the lines. Because I do a one person show, this is kind of set up for people in a play, different characters and you can prompt yourself and you can, uh, you can change this, uh, the speed of dialogue. Age isn't just a number for me. Age is a number of numbers. There's the number on Wikipedia. So the idea is, you know, if like, oh yeah, I really, uh, I really have that section of the uh, the scene down, but the other section, you can speed it up till you get to that point that you need to uh, go slow with. Just like, just let it, let it marinate, let it settle. And that's what this app is is particularly good for. It's called Line Learner, Line Learner, and. Uh, and, and I got it three years ago, and it's really helped me with about, I don't know, four or five different projects. Uh, but in, in the last four years, I don't even know what apps are out there. So, so check it out. Just get yourself a good app. And, uh, and that's it. All right? Understand it. Own it. Be the author, even if you're not. Just be the therapist of that script. Drill it. Drill it till till you just your eyes spin in your head, and then drill it again, and then three is get the assistance of uh, technology and an app like that that you put in your headphones, and then you can go about your day, and nobody knows you're working on your script, just you. I hope that helps. It's all going to be worth it. The more time you put into it, just relax and. And just be joyous that you are a, a creator in theater. All right, then.